Greetings boffins, welcome to the Boffin Lab. I'm Mardor Tarrant and this is a nano guide for EVE Online. We are looking at the last mission for the business career agent arc. Balancing the books, 10 of 10. Speak to your agent and you will discover that you're being asked to manufacture something. In this case, they are antimatter charges. However, the charges you will be asked to make will depend on what nation you're currently working for. I've also been given a blueprint and I will need this blueprint in order to manufacture the charges. Accept the mission and the blueprint will be put into your item hanger. Now close the window and check in your item hanger. Look for the blueprint that you've been given. Right click on it and use blueprint. This window takes a little time to load. It's the industry screen where you manufacture items. The first time you open it tends to take some time. On the left are the items necessary to make the blueprint. The things in orange tell you that you don't have that enough of that item to complete it. However, if you right click on the blueprint and to show info, you can find out just how many items are made each time you do a run of this blueprint. It says I do a hundred charges per run, but the mission requires that I do 5,000 charges. In order to complete the mission, we will have to change the number of runs to 50. Change it in the box under the blueprint there. You will notice that the amount of materials we now need has gone up. I have been fortunate enough to have enough titanium from previous missions sitting in my hangar. However, the other two items I haven't enough of. You could mine these items, but you will probably find it hard to find enough noxium anywhere near you. In fact, you probably would have to go into dangerous space in order to get it. Pyrite you can find from Pyroxus and Plagio class, depending on what sol uh, systems you're in. The easiest way is to right click on the item and view market details. It's likely somebody selling this, uh, these materials on the station. So scroll through the list and see if you can find some. Most likely it'll also be a rather inflated price, but you're going to be buying so little of this material. The loss is not going to be very much. Right click on the item, make sure it's in your station and type in the number that you need, then buy it. you'll notice just how little money you're spending on it all. As soon as you get enough materials in your hangar, it updates the industry screen, showing that you have sufficient pyrite. Now do the same for Noxium. Noxium is going to be pretty expensive, but this is one station where you know you're going to need it. You also only need a little bit of it. Frankly, going into a dangerous solar system in order to get this stuff is not worth your effort. Once again, 28,000 isk, that's not a lot. Your time is worth a good deal more than the time it would have taken to go and find that stuff. Now that you've got blue all across the uh, items section of the left, you can start the job by hitting the button in the middle right. The job is now listed at the bottom and it shows that it's going to take a bit over four hours to complete. This time ticks down whether you're in the game or not, whether you're doing missions or not. It just keeps going. So you can close this window and go do something else. I will skip to the next section and show you how to finish the job. Approximately four hours has gone by, so it's time to check our industry jobs. Open the industry screen, which is on the station services panel. Once again, this screen's likely to take a little time to come up. Go to the jobs tab at the bottom and click on it. This will show all the jobs that you have running. 
and it shows a deliver button next to the job we've just finished. Click on it and the items plus the blueprint are put into your item hanger. Your blueprint still has more runs on it until it runs out, so you'll be able to use that later. But you'll notice that 5,000 rounds of antimatter charges have been put into your hangar. You can now open the agent window, check that all the ticks are in place, and finish the mission. You'll be getting a ship for this mission, so that's more than what you've paid to finish this job. That's the last of the Business Career Agent arc, and the end of the tutorial. Have fun, good hunting.